So <clears throat> normally, um, this we're supposed to put the ID the way we did here, but we don't have access to the account ID. So, but let me um, create this first. Call it my account. Account. Or just for consistency of naming, call it account. Or my account. I think it's okay. Now, but this account always, all the time, expects an ID uh, because of the way it's the, the find in the route file. But we're going to go and ex uh, um, accept this, um, remove this from the resource so that we can make it optional to have ID. Um, don't worry if you don't understand what I'm saying, but you just see what I will do now. So I'll go to web, look for account resource. Here, account resource takes care of all the different account routes, but we want to remove one. We can do something like this. So here we can just do except it's an array we can just tell it what to accept and uh, what we want it to accept is the show so we what, what we're basically saying is that we don't want the show route to be part of this again uh, now it's no longer part of it we can now do something like um, route get account slash show then we can have optional account ID. Then we can have comma. So now if you put a question mark beside a parameter, it means it's optional. So uh, we cannot have account controller, which is here. And we can now add the, the, the function, which is show at show. And we can now add the name of the route, which is accounts show accounts dot show. So um, if you think through it, you will understand what I just did. We want to add an optional parameter so that sometimes if an ID, account ID is not passed, this route wouldn't throw an error as the configured by default inside resource. So that um, we can go to show and um, generate this ID if it's missing. All right. So now we can go to show, or let me call it ID because that's what it is called in show. I'm going to call it ID. So if you now go to show um, account controller, we're looking for the show function. This is Marcus Pay. If we scroll down to you see we show, it says show accepts an ID, but if this ID is missing, um, we can now work on it. We can say if it's not set ID, that is if the ID is missing, let us try and generate the ID. So we'll generate the ID of the currently logged in user, all right? So we can say um, account equal to account, go and find the account of the currently logged in user, which is user ID. I just remembered a little mistake I made somewhere. I'm going to go and fix it now. And uh, user ID, ID. So this um, finds your account, all right? So we need to put first here. That is that is the thing, first. So one, anytime you use where, you must end it with first or get. If it's going to get a list, of items you end it with get if it's going to get only one item it end it with first so uh, this will get our account if the account is missing all right so um, if the account is missing so we can now create an ID we can now say ID equal to account ID so what is happening is that we've checked ID doesn't exist. We'll find it by going to the database, look for this person's account, and then save the ID here because the ID will be used here, really. Um, not really, we don't need it again. So I'm just gonna do else. So that's it. So if ID exists, 
um, find this one if it doesn't exist go and find the id the um, account of the currently logged in user now in the past we did mark as paid we did this function in the past and when we did where i'm looking for not not here um we did transactions so if we go to transaction database here so if you see here you see that we're trying to find the list of transactions done by this person and at the end we forgot to put get um, that's it so because it's getting a list and we have to do that with qr codes on qr codes here in index here too we forgot to put a get if you don't put a get it will not get the list and you will never know why so that's it get all right guys um i think we're pretty much done for this let us test what we've done i've refreshed i should see an account here if everything goes well all right so i'm gonna try and click on my account and see whether what we did worked so wait so you can see that this is um complaining already this function is expecting one argument exactly one so there are many ways we can try and tell the function to calm down and stop backing so let's go and find it show it is called show so show one way one thing we can do is just to say equal to null so that um if it doesn't exist it wouldn't complain let's go and refresh so that's one way to pass optional parameter you see i clicked on this and then um, there was no id keep your eye at the bottom of the screen you see it's um account show look at the same thing at the top account show it should be account show slash one or slash the id but there is no id there so it still went through and guess what still pulled out my id my my account so that that's very ingenious and beautiful so you can always use it when you're trying to create um links like this you you make it optional so that you can then um, generate the kind of um, thing you want to generate all right thank you very much see you in subsequent videos